Today's topic, seven secrets to the law of attraction. Today I want to share seven law of attraction secrets with you that most people don't even know and if they know these secrets they often interpret them in the completely wrong way. And the first secret I want to share with you is that the law of attraction is more than just the law of attraction. So many people believe that the law of attraction simply means I have to want something and then I get it immediately because I want to attract it and as a result I attract it, right? But the law of attraction is a little bit more complex than that. And that's also the biggest reason why so many people fail when they, for example, watch The Secret and they just hear, you have to visualize it, you have to see it, see yourself in it, see it, see it, it's all about seeing. But in reality, the law of attraction is a law of vibration. You can see yourself as a rich and wealthy person all day long, but if you don't feel rich and wealthy, if you don't marry, as Dr. Joe Dispenza always says, the clear intention with an elevated emotion, then you have nothing. And if I remember it correctly, Dr. Joe Dispenza in one of his books or seminars, I mean, I watched so much stuff from him, so I don't know where it was, mentioned an example where scientists wanted to see if they can unwind DNA with their intention alone. And when they only intended it, when they had the clear intention, nothing happened. But when they added an elevated emotion to the clear intention and they combined these two aspects, they felt the DNA unwinding, or let's say they felt the success of having it unwinded. Is unwinded grammatically correct? I don't know, doesn't matter. So while they were thinking about the DNA unwinding, while they had that clear intention, they felt something. They felt the emotion of success, they felt the gratitude for having succeeded in what they wanted to do. And then they married the clear intention with the elevated emotion. And this is what brings you the dream life that you want. This is what brings you the partner that you want. This is what turns you into the person that you want to become. The law of attraction is actually the law of vibration. And the law of vibration says that you need to match a certain vibrational frequency in order for you to attract everything that is, yeah, you can say everything that is on this vibrational frequency into your life. To give you a simple example, if you want to manifest more money, and you visualize all day long how you drive in a sports car, but whenever you see yourself driving the sports car, you think to yourself, Oh, this will never happen. Oh, I've never had any money. Oh, my parents didn't have any money. Oh, this is impossible. Then you fulfill one of the two aspects. You have the clear intention, the intention of being in this sports car, the intention of being rich and wealthy. But if you don't marry this clear intention with an elevated emotion, nothing will happen because you will always feel unworthy, you will feel doubtful, and you will feel fearful. But if you then feel rich and wealthy, you feel yourself sitting in this car. You don't just see yourself in it, but you feel sitting in this car. You feel how it feels to drive this car. You feel rich and wealthy and you rehearse this scene and this emotional state in your mind over and over again. Then you can attract what you want. And if you want to master the law of attraction and also the law of vibration, of course, then you can have a look at my 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, which is an 11-day program in which every day you get exercises, lectures, and deep hypnosis that reprogram your subconscious mind for manifestation success. And if you want to find out more about this program, you can click on the first link in the description or you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days. And you don't need external stimuli to create an internal shift, even though everyone tells you the opposite. And today my English is terrible. Is it stimuli or stimuli? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you don't need anything external for you to feel amazing. So many people believe that if nothing in the external world happens, they can change their emotional state. But this is not true at all. You as a deliberate creator, in fact, you as a human being have this power. You have the potential to feel whatever you want. And even if you might want to say now, Sebastian, that's not true. Uh, God, I don't want to listen to you anymore. I want to close this episode. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, make the following experiment with me, okay? For the next 30 seconds, or let's say for the next 60 seconds, let's make it even longer. For the next 60 seconds that you're listening to me going blah, 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 blah about the law of attraction, smile. 
I do it with you right now while I'm talking. I want you to smile and then I invite you, even though you feel completely depressed right now, just force yourself to jump up and down like a kangaroo while you are smiling. If you do this for 60 seconds, and I know that you can do it, your emotional state will change. Did anything in your external situation change? No, nothing. You are still in the same room, you are still with the same life, but you shifted your emotional state. And even though this sounds like a very stupid and funny and maybe even playful, yeah, I would say playful and funny, not stupid exercise, it's so important for you to realize that you have this power. For me, this was a complete game changer. I always thought, oh, you know, my businesses don't work, nothing works, uh, I'm depressed. I can't do anything about it. And once I finally made this mental shift of saying, hey, I don't need any external stimuli. I can just do it myself. I can feel however I want to feel. And yes, it takes practice. And yes, in the beginning, your ego says, come on, who are you kidding? You feel miserable. Who are you kidding? Stop that. That's stupid. You act like a child. Don't do that anymore. Your ego will give you all kinds of excuses why you can't do it. But if you continue practice it, then you will not only feel better and raise your vibration, but in the process, you will then be able to manifest what you want. Because by undergoing this internal shift, you then have the potential to reach any vibrational frequency that you want. And by doing that, because the law of attraction is a law of vibration, you then attract what you want. And speaking of attracting what you want, Manifesting money is not more difficult than manifesting a leaf or a piece of paper or a mobile phone or whatever you want to manifest. It's all energy. The only difference is that you think and believe, remember, if you believe it, you will receive it. And if you believe that money is hard to manifest, that money doesn't grow on trees, as they always say, then you will have a hard time manifesting money. And that's why so many of my Skype coaching clients who I work with in one-on-one -on -one Skype coaching sessions, they struggle with manifesting money, of course, before they start working with me. And if you want to work with me, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash Skype. There you can also have a look at the testimonials from so many deliberate creators who've already worked with me and manifested amazing things in their life. But when it comes to manifesting money, a lot of people have all kinds of limiting beliefs from the past, from their parents, from their upbringing, from the society they live in. I, for example, I didn't have so many of these limiting beliefs. And that's why I was able to manifest money pretty fast. And that's also why I was able to create the Money Manifestation Magnet program for you, which is a six-week guided meditation program in which we reprogram your subconscious mind, we delete your old history, and we create a new story, the story of your wealthy and rich and abundant self. And if you are ready to manifest more money, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash money and invest in the money manifestation magnet program but only invest in this program if you are committed to listen to one of these 10 minute meditations every single day if you're not committed to manifesting more money then please don't invest in it this program is for action takers and action takers only and you are a creator no matter if you want it or not the law of attraction doesn't really care you are a creator and now i ask you do you want to be a deliberate creator or a random creator? Unfortunately, most people in this world are random creators. They create by chance. They just walk through life, they manifest things they want, then they manifest things they don't want, because, as I just said, most people believe that we are victims of our external situation, that we can't create our own emotions, that we can't raise our vibration, and that we can't become a vibrational match to what we want. And as a result, a lot of people are random creators, they are not deliberate creators, but I want you to experience and as a first step to actually accept your power as a deliberate creator. And that's why module two of the 11 days to manifestation mastery program is about mastering your power as a deliberate creator. Because even if you don't believe right now that you have this power, or maybe you just don't know it, you have this power. Every human being has this power. You just have to activate it. And the universe doesn't care about your past when you use the law of attraction. So many of the amazing people who I coached in Skype coaching sessions in their very first session told me about their past, which is great. I always like to get to know where the people I coach are coming from. But then I want them to shift very fast. 
or to say it in Dr. Joe Dispenza's words, whenever somebody tells him about his past over and over again, he just says, oh, boring, tell me about your future. And this is what I want you to do. The past doesn't care that you've been poor. The past doesn't care that you grew up in the projects. The past doesn't care that you had nothing to eat as a child because your family was so poor. You can still manifest money. I mean, I was so broke that I could barely afford a flight back to Germany just to move in with my parents again as a grown adult. If I can do it, you can do it. You just have to do it. And overcoming your trauma and developing true self-love is the fast track to manifestation success with the law of attraction. And if you want to work on your trauma healing journey with me, then you can do that in a Skype coaching session. You can also have a look at the free bonus that you get if you invest in my 11 days to manifestation mastery program. And that's the trauma transformation audio course, which is an audio course with all kinds of different techniques that I used on my own trauma healing journey. And this audio course alone, which you get completely for free, it's one of the five free bonuses that you get, if you invest in this program, is over 65 minutes long. So yes, it contains a lot of techniques for your trauma healing. You can either work with me or with this audio course to heal your trauma. Because when you have trauma and you use the law of attraction, your trauma will always sabotage you. I know that from my own experience. Your trauma will always make sure that you re-experience these traumatic emotions. And that's why you need to heal this aspect of yourself. And once you heal this aspect of yourself, you can then shift your identity. And an identity shift can only happen when you consciously and continually work on living as your new self. If you want to create a new life, you have to become a new person. If you are, for example, poor right now and you want to create a life of financial abundance, of wealth, of feeling rich, of being rich, then you have to become this rich person. You can't manifest wealth if you stay in the poverty mindset, if you stay in the poverty emotions, it just won't happen. And that's why it's so important that you become a new person and then live this new future, which will at some point become your present because you manifest it with the law of attraction. And if you are a little bit impatient and you want to master the art of manifesting your dreams with the law of attraction in just 11 days, then the 11 days to manifestation mastery program is the right program for you. And if you want to find out more about it, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days, or you can click on the first link in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.